What's up, guys? It's Joel here with another Mix It Up Reactions here with my host, H. Jones. And we're here doing some more Avenge Sevenfold. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We're going to do a song called Reminiscence today. At least that's mm -hmm. how I think it's pronounced yep, you because it. eh, you never know, though. <laughs> some people spell things their own Reminiscence. 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 <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when new videos are coming out. And go ahead and, uh, you know, do that thing there and buy some merch merch. Yeah, that'd be cool if you. As you can tell, we got some new lighting for a setup. We don't have new key lights. We were just only able to buy the fill light <laughs> for now. So baby steps. Yeah, maybe one, one light at a time. Maybe steps. <laughs> Oh, 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 uh, okay. it didn't look like much light was hitting you, but it does look like that on the camera. <laughs> so today we're going to be checking out Avenged Sevenfold Reminition. So let's go ahead and check it out. I actually haven't heard this one yet. Hmm, I don't think so. I think it's on. You're a terrible fan. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. There's only like three albums I really listened quite a bit to. But even the first one, I didn't listen to as much. I, 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 I'm I'm a uh, what is it called? A mid fair fan, no. <laughs> whatever the hell it's called. I don't remember what is it like. Uh, temporary fan. <laughs> so let's check it out. Reminiscence. Yeah. 
So their ability to somehow fit five different <laughs> effing songs in the same song is uncanny. Yeah. And blend them so that it's not something so like, you know, like drastic. Yeah. Like it was like metalcore, punk, like a ballad and like a classical piece. And then like, a, like I could only describe the, the solo as kind of like reminiscent of those early nineties, late eighties solos that just made you kind of mm. rock out, you know, simple, not too crazy, but yeah. And I wouldn't call it a solo. I'd call it a rhythm guitar, but just harmonies, you know, but, uh, yeah, that song was insane. <laughs> I mean, we just did the thing for exist last week. Mm-hmm. So it's like, now we got a version that had vocals basically yeah, like just, yeah all over the place doing a million different things and it actually sounded good. <laughs> like I, I was expecting you can tell though. I know this had to have been something that came before the last two. Cause again, it was more raw, the yeah. recording. So it had to have came before uh nightmare and uh self-titled. But good Lord. So who's, who's doing the lead singing at the beginning, like the front half of that before the it's M shadows. I think just whenever the second screamer vocal came in, Mm -hmm. I think it was probably either Rev. I think Rev does a good amount of the live screaming or whatnot. But as I've been told in the comments that it's usually M shadows who records all of it. He just does different vocal fry tone, which I'd be like, why would you make it sound like two different people? But then I thought about it. Oh yeah. Well, if you want to replicate it live, you would have to have two different sounding people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rev does sound like he's yeah. more like that. And M shadows is more, you know, like I, that sounds so weird that I just said that <laughs> like that. <laughs> it sounds weird that I said it like that, but it's just, but I mean, the tones, how you change your voice, your echo chamber and all that. It's just interesting here in the beginning when you say it was metal core. No, it, it, I, I don't know what to call that. It's just much heavier. Yeah. Okay. Than, well the heavy side and then him singing, I thought it was two different people. Yeah. I'm no. like, there's no way that's the same I mean, guy. who knows? Y'all tell us. Was it M Shadows that did both parts of that? Or did he like him do a piece and then Reb do a piece? Or I'm curious. No, What's the that bass was... again? Huh? What's the bass player name? Yeah. Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me? You know I <laughs> don't remember. You just remember. said the other names I thought you remember. <sighs> I know Sinister's one. I have one. not said his that's name for him. a while then. I was someone say, told maybe me in the him, comments. Well, maybe it's him. Maybe he finally had his moment. It, it could be. Because <laughs> I'm still waiting on it. <laughs> no, yeah. No, you heard the song he had his moment in. I know, but he, he needs more love. You said, yeah, he, need, he definitely needs, he more, needs love, more love. Because he's the only band member I can't remember. <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Johnny Christ. There you go. Boom. We'll, we'll say for now that it's him until we Johnny find Johnny Christ? Out the answer. Is it Johnny Christ? <laughs> I think it's Johnny Christ. It's like M Shadows, Johnny Christ, The Rev. Sinister. Sinister. Gaines. And then uh, Zachy. Or crap he has two names there's no way <laughs> he's the only seal of the group <laughs> i want to say it's like mr zaggy that would be creepy sounding um, <laughs> no. Zaki. i was at mr zaggy here for you yeah. <laughs> uh, but i would say this is definitely like a hardcore yeah like just mixing of everything. It's like, hey, let's make a melting pot of a song. <laughs> let's just put a little bit of everything in there, you know, because it goes so pretty mm-hmm. and so meaningful. And then it just goes so hardcore and then punk for a period of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was just, uh, I don't know. I like it, man. Like their music is is basically like a six month journey. <laughs> like if you were going up the hills and the mountains and the valleys and mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, it's like, it's All like walking seasons. through Colorado <laughs> for six months. Yeah. But, uh, no, I like it. Man, they haven't made a song yet that I really have hated. They haven't made one yet. Not one, not one that I can think of. I mean, there's been some that were just like not my vibe and whatnot, mm-hmm. but, well, you know, everybody puts an album out and there's always that one song. Yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah. Where you, you do probably this. could have left that one off. You, yeah, you do the skip track or whatever yeah. and you're like, well, uh, I appreciate the effort. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but that's just yeah, the way it cool. is. 
there's there's no <laughs> such thing as like one artist that exists where every song they've ever written or or at least even an album mm-hmm. that everyone likes. There's yeah. no artist that exists on the earth. Yeah. And it's just uh it's just a way of it, you know? Like if your sweet kind mother decided to make an album, there's going to be one of your friends going to be like, "Man, it just sucks." I hate it. <laughs> I love your mom, but I hate that album. <laughs> like there's always going to be somebody. So you kind of have to get past that and just mm-hmm. be like, hey, appreciate the music or don't. Well, it's all good. Yeah. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> and the people who take offense, if someone likes something different, y'all are weird. Why do you waste your time? Well, now I'm offended because he said I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just people that get like, and most of our fans haven't been like that, which yeah. is cool. We've had a couple. That literally like did that childlike stuff where it was like, well, who are you to say anything? <laughs> you fat ass. Well, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm fat. What what does that have to do with anything? You know? I still don't like the song. And I just I just I just reply with something nice, like, I'm sorry you feel that way, bud. Have a good day. Cause it's like, why should I care? What, what, what would be the purpose, you know? You don't argue with people online? You don't waste your time doing no, that. No, I don't do that. <laughs> Funny enough, I've had friends and family call me and go, Did you see what so and so wrote on your ball? I was like, <laughs> No. They're like, You need to go look at it. I'm like, <laughs> Do I have to? And they're like, You should see it. It's important. And I'm like, Okay. Oh, yeah. So I go and look at it. And I'm like, Okay. And they're like, Are you going to say something? I'm like, No. Why? <laughs> why am I wasting the energy? And she's like, well, you need need to say something and stand up for yourself. I'm like, it's not about standing up for yourself. It'd be different if you cared what people thought. And you're like, you respect me as a human (laughs) being. I am deserving of it. I'm not that way. I don't give a care. Just hit delete and keep going. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. No, no, I don't. I don't delete it. I'll usually reply with something nice to make them feel really guilty about it. Oh, he's actually a nice guy. Yes, I'm a nice guy. (laughs) What's wrong with you, you (laughs) demon? (laughs) No, I'll either reply with that or do something a little snarky, not mean snarky, because it's easy to go mean. It's so easy to go mean. You can easily cut someone's legs out from underneath them. Again, that person is like. (laughs) Who can fed us? <laughs> Makes me laugh every time because I can see him getting so angry, just tapping away. It's just funny. At ass. Yeah, but it, but if it's something that especially is like low hanging fruit, then I point that out. I'm like honest about it. I'm like, hey, uh, you realize that wasn't that clever, right? I mean, it's like you know, calling a black guy black. It's just weird. It's like you're pointing out obvious shit. That's why we can't see you at night. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Be more clever. Because if you're if you're clever and you're insulting me, I'm gonna be impressed. That's just the way it is. All right, somebody. I want to see it. If it's super clever, cleverly insulted. If it's cleverly insults, I will be proud of you. I will be proud of you. If it's like like if you're Bill Burr roasting me, I'm gonna be proud of what you say. If you're going for low hanging fruit. I'm not impressed, you know, but, um, no, somebody's, just somebody's sitting around with a thesaurus and a rhyming dictionary right now. Like I'm a like, fuck you. I'm going to have like, Oh yeah. Seriously. Deeper <laughs> meaning on these comments. I'm going to make them cry. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> no, it's just funny because people are like that with music. They're like that with books, with TV shows and movies. And we got off on a tangent. So <laughs> reminiscences, enjoying it i liked it it was a good one i remember you got to insult joel but do it clever (laughs) (laughs) oh yeah do it clever clever. if you want to insult me just cleverly do it you know they're not going to remember this and no one's going to absolutely try it because it's hard to just be like unnaturally no faith i have faith in you guys now i'm going to be cleverly making fun of you joel here's the joke like that's it needs to be more natural they have time to make it natural. That's not how natural works, man. <laughs> that's not how time, that's not how that works at all. <sighs> yeah, it's natural <laughs> byproducts that I create over many hours worth of time. <laughs> it's not how it works, bro. <laughs> well, 
until next time, little dumplings. I'm going to start calling them dumplings. No, that sounds weird. Does that sound weird? Don't do that. It sounds creepy. I sound like someone's grandmother, don't I? All right, guys. That was fun. We'll see you next time, little dumplings. Goodbye, my little dumplings. (laughs)